Welcome back savages to another video. In this video we're going to see if we can double the hash rate of this nerd miner. So apparently there's some new firmware out that will double the hash rate. So currently we're getting about 22 kilo hash a second. In this video we're going to install the software to see what the results are and also I'm interested to see whether this has any impact on the power consumption. So without further ado, let's go. So firstly, just for reference, this has got the current firmware on there, which is giving me 22 kilohash a second. That's the power consumption right there. So we're getting roughly 0.2 amps. So let's go ahead and update the firmware on this nerd miner. First of all, plug the nerd miner into your computer using a USB cable. Secondly, go to this BitMaker Hub website. Don't worry about that. I'll actually put a link in the description so you can grab it from there. Once you're on this page, you need to pick the type of firmware you want. Now I'm using a T3S3 display, which is at the top, and we're going to be updating it to version 1.6.2. So I'm just going to click that and click on flash. Then it's going to ask us with a pop-up what type of serial port or USB you're going to be connecting to. Well, I've got it plugged into USB, so we're going to click COM5 on this one, click on connect. As you can see, the bootloader is completely finished, partition table has gone all the way across, OTA initial data has gone all the way across, and firmware has gone across as well. And it's telling me at the bottom, successfully flash nerd miner. So we're just going to restart it and see how it goes. If you get any problems along the way where this firmware gets stuck, try a different USB cable. I had the same issue where it got so far along and then it would just stop. It would sometimes even say it would successfully flashed it, but it hadn't. So make sure you try different USB cables if your firmware progress bar gets stuck somewhere down the line. If it gets all the way at the end like this, then it should have successfully flashed it. Okay, so the moment of truth, I'm just going to plug the USB cable in here and we're going to see what happens. So that's a good start. It's loading up. It's probably just going through the Wi-Fi config and connecting. And will you look at that? 56, 55 kilohash a second. So it's more than doubled what we were getting before. So the last thing we're going to do is plug the USB and then we're going to see what the power consumption's like. Nerd miners come on. Let's just wait until it starts hashing. So if you remember originally when it was doing 22 kilohash a second, we were getting 0 0.2 amps. And there we go, it's hashing away and it's pretty much the same as it was before. So no real power consumption hit, even when it's double hashing as well. So there you go, savages. That's how you double your hash rate and double your chances of winning a block using Nerd Miner. I'll leave a link in the description to all the bits that I've used in this video, as well as the link to the BitMaker website. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you savages on the next one.